Welcome to IBM Mainframer Community, a complete reference for mainframe programmers. Easy Treve Tutorial, Chapter 4. In this video, we will be looking into Activity Section, Report Statement, and Report Definition Statements. This video is a continuation of Easy Treve Tutorial video series. If you don't see the previous video, that is Chapter 1 to 3, then it is difficult for you to understand the concept. I highly suggest you to watch our previous chapter videos and come back here. This is the sample program that we have been discussing currently has only three statements in its report declaration. Report, title, and line. In this chapter, we introduce the following statements and add them to our sample program. Sequence, control, sum, heading. The report statement must be the first statement in your report declaration. This statement precedes the report description and identifies the type of report and its various physical characteristics. In our sample program, we identify the report by name, pay RPT, and also specify a line size of 80, but both of these properties are optional because our program has only one report. We could have left the report name off, both the print and the report statements. A line size of 80 restricts report output to 80 characters to each printed line. If you enter programs as we proceed and review the output at your terminal, then 80 characters per line is appropriate. Most terminals display only 80 characters on a screen. Let us see report definition statements. Report definition statements define the contents of a report. These statements are presented in the order they must occur in your report declaration. We add new statements to our example program as we go, showing the effects on report output. There are six report definition statements in EasyTrieve. When used, they must occur after the report statement in the following order. Sequence, control, sum, title, heading, line. If you are thinking how to remember the order, I give you tips to remember the order of report definition statements. Remember the sentence. Siblings can sometimes tell horrible lies. If you see the first letter of each word on the sentence is report definition statements order. Let me explain you each report definition statements. First, sequence statement. The sequence statement causes your report to be sorted on a specified key in ascending or descending order. In our example, the report output should be sequenced on department in ascending order. We accomplish this by placing the sequence statement and the field name department after the report statement. Ascending order is the default for the sequence statement. For descending order, enter D after the field name separated by a space. When we run our program, this report is produced. See the report records, records are sorted in ascending order by department. When you use the sequence statement, you do not need to define any extra files or additional input, output commands in your program. Next statement is control statement. The control statement defines a control break on a specified field that is called the control field. The control statement causes all quantitative fields, that is, fields with decimal positions, to be totaled at the time of the control break and for a grand totals to appear at the end of the report. Because we have sequenced our report by the department field, we can also request a control break on the same field. This gives us totals of gross, net pay, and deductions for each department. To accomplish this, we add the control statement and the field name department after the sequence statement. With that additional statement, gross, net pay, and deductions totals are shown for each department with grand totals at the end of the report. The next report definition statement is the sum statement. Suppose that you do not want totals for gross, net pay, and deductions at each control break. You only want a total for gross, so you can get an idea of what the salary expense is. You can override the control statement that normally totals all quantitative fields with the sum statement. The sum statement specifies the quantitative fields that you want totaled on a control break. Using a sum statement ensures that only fields that are specified on the sum statement are totaled. We have modified the program so that only the gross pay has a total. Now, the gross is the only field 
that is totaled. Next report definition statement is, title statement, the title statement, causes the title to appear in our report. We have been calling our report, personnel report example 1, throughout the tutorial. You can change it to, any appropriate title. Include the word title, followed by a title number, followed by your title in single quotes. If you have only, one title, you don't need to mention the title number, it defaults to 01, when you want, more than one title, you must number, all title statements, in ascending order. The result of the title statement is. The system date, and the page number, are automatically printed on the same line. Next report definition statement is, heading statement. Like, the heading parameter of the defined statement, prints, user-defined column headings, for specified fields. It overrides, the heading parameter of the defined statement, if, one already exists for the field, that you are describing. See Chapter 3 video for more information, if needed. We have added this statement, to our program, to show you, how this statement works. Suppose, that, we have decided the field name, EMP name, is not really a good column heading. We want, employee name instead. As we did, with the, EMP hash field, we can change our existing column heading. We do, so by typing the word, heading, followed by the field name, EMP name, followed by the new column heading. To be consistent, with our other heading, employee number, we have described our new heading, so that, it stacks, employee, on top of name. To do this, type single quotes, around each word in the heading. The parentheses are required, because, the two words, each in single quotes, are, treated the same as, any other multiple parameters. This is how, the output looks. The last report definition statement is, line statement. It defines the contents of a printed line, that is, detail line, in your report. You must include the line statement, in your report declaration. In our example program, it defines, which fields, we want printed on a line, and, the order in which, we want them printed. This is how, the detail line in your report. Finally, we are at the end of our video, you have learned, how the report, sequence, control, sum, title, heading, and line statements, are used in the creation of an easy tree report. Report, designates the beginning of a report declaration, and can specify, the type of report, and report characteristics. Sequence, puts your report in alphabetical, or numerical order, based on the contents of a field, or fields. Control, causes a control break, based on the contents of a field. It causes, the printing of control totals, and grand totals, for all quantitative fields. Sum, overrides control totals, and causes totals, only for specified fields. Title, causes the printing of major report titles. Heading, causes the printing of customized column headings. Line, specifies the fields, to include on detail lines, and the field order. This concludes, the Easy Treve tutorial video series. You can now create your own standard reports, using what you have learned. For more information about Easy Treve program, please check out our tutorial on www.ibmmainframer.com. We hope, you liked our tutorial videos. Please support us, by sharing, and liking the video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning!